啦啦。Peeps and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Here we are in Lower Bullocks, currently dealing with a lightheadedness emergency.、Um, so the queue is quite、um, high at the moment, just as we're sort of working through the backlog. She's killing quite a few old Sues here,、um, but she, of course she doesn't have any training in this area. So I suppose, you know, all things considered, that. That could happen. <laughs>、uh, what have we got here? So、uh, Rudolph Tingle. I'd love to have a really big, plush staff room to relax in on my break. How about it, boss? Do you know we need to build a second staff room in this second building? So we could try and make it a level four one. Maybe it could be quite tough given、um, we don't have a lot unlocked at the moment in the in the items. Yes, we would like to promote you. There you go. Excellent. Promoted.、Um, now, oh, oh no! Look, look! We've got a ghost. Quick!、Um, do you know what? We might need another janitor. Get rid of the、uh, the ghost there. Who have we got for hire?、Um, oh, do you know we could do with? And he's all right, you know. We could do with another doctor because I think we should build a second psychiatry room. Look, this we've got a queue. Oh, Nigel Bickleworth. Um, Janitors. Fear not, faithful listeners. Your favourite radio personality, Sir Nigel Bickleworth, is <laughs> Look back. Look at that picture. <laughs> as much as I would like to quit this infernal booth forever, I just cannot deprive you of my wit. I take the responsibility of being your、Soon、every、right. source of intellectual stimulation very seriously indeed. More instantly、oh. forgettable melodies coming up next. Wow, he's charming, isn't he? That Bicklesworth, what a what a lovely guy. Um, so look, we've made it to one star in Lower Bullocks. Look at this! Congratulations, your hospital's been awarded a one star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Like lightning, you have made a mockery of your detractors by striking a second time. You are commended on your endeavours into the inner workings of machines and the human mind, respectively. Now, focus on your budding two-headed empire, or add a third head by opening a new hospital in Flottering, as it's currently not much of an empire. Oh, charming!、Uh, yours fragrantly, Tarquin Foxbridge. Right. Well,、um, I am keen to get to Flottering. Because、uh, that's where the training is unlocked. So、uh, do you know we might just head straight there?、Um, what we'll do, I know what we'll do. We'll build the rooms that I'm quite keen to get into place in this hospital, and then we'll move in、uh, onto flottering. I think because I really want training,、um, and we've done quite well here. Look, so we've unlocked flottering cardiology. So that's a further diagnosis. This would also help alleviate the pressure that is currently on. Um, psychiatry, and we've got an upgrade for our deluxe oh lux machine, along with some kudosh and some doubloons. Lovely, excellent.、Um, so, oh, let's waste no time, and let's see about getting our first upgrade on here.、Um, improve head replacement plus twenty five percent treatment power, and what's nice is that. As they get upgraded, the machines do look different each time.、Uh, oh, what's this?、Um, sadly, we didn't cure enough patients. Oh no! Look, we only did three out of seven. She killed so many of them; they all went through. I think the machine, but she just killed too many of them. Oh well. I mean, she is completely unqualified, and this is why we need training. This is absolutely why we need training. Look, kill that one. Penelope, hero, no, oh dear! Quick, we need another. Where's our? That one, right? Here we go. There we go. Yeah. So as the machine gets upgraded, they get upgrades added to them, and these machines get bigger and bulkier as you see the upgrades being、uh, added. So we'll see what we can spot different if we have a look at it now.、Um, And we'll see what looks different after the upgrade. We'll come back to it. Right. So the queue does seem to be falling over here. She's、uh, maybe she went on a break. 
Maybe she just went on a break, but we've hired the doctor now, so I think I think uh, we'll continue with with our plan, um, being that we do get quite a lot of mock stars here. So let's build another uh, one of these. Um, I know, yeah. Shall we put it? We'll put it this way, like this. Excellent. And we will put the couch. I haven't quite yet decided, I think, on my final design for a... Uh... Oh, I'm having problems with this. don't think I've quite decided yet on my final uh, layout for the psychiatry Deluxe room. Clinic calling doctor. Okay. Uh, uh, for the psychiatrists, yeah, I, I just, I just don't think I've quite decided on it yet, because this is sort of like their little office area, right, that I'm making. Um, so it sort of makes sense that really their chair should perhaps be more over towards their office space. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm delighted to say I will be giving a lecture at our local university on the which means we should probably. Namely, how don't to know. Do it correctly. I want that quite close Perhaps to the door so they can come in and, and jump straight on it. Do you know what I mean? I think it's important. But that looks that looks a bit rubbish. I think we might have to worry about this at a later date. Just get it built for now. <gasps> um, yes, I think that may have to be a thing. Do you know, I'm very keen, actually, to unlock this medicine cabinet. And we have now... Um, got the doubloons to do it so um you know what i think i will look it's 400 it's quite expensive but what's good about this medicine cabinet is it has a plus one percent diagnosis power and a plus one treatment power so it's really fantastic for rooms like the psychiatry room particularly when our staff need training it's also amazingly good to have a bunch of these in the ward because again this both diagnoses and treats same again for the gp offices fantastic for the gp offices so they might be expensive but they can be used in so many fantastic places um do you know they're very, very diverse, and they give a boost. And you might think, well, that's not not a, a great boost. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised at how good they are. Look, see? It even goes in general diagnosis. They go in pharmacy as well. They go nicely into the pharmacy room. Where should we, where should we pop these? Uh, just put them there for now. They can go and go. They just go all over the place. Um, just all over the place. Look, and we haven't quite got them uh, in here yet. I think we will as well. Um, let's put that there for now. We'll work out uh, nicer, cleaner designs, I think, at a later date. For now, just interested in sort of functionality uh, more than than anything, I think. Look at that. Excellent. So we've built another... I don't know if I finished it. Got so carried away with my medicine cabinets. I <laughs> that got a bit got a bit silly. I don't think we'll put that in there. Um, but we could probably put another plant in. Just, just, you know, make it a little bit nicer for now. For now. Um, excellent. There we go. Now, I did hire another doctor with that psychiatry skill so we're going to make him only work in there i think gary Today's peters there you go manners, he's on his way like uh, oh mono mono beast got him wine. got him if you are the type that is content to swill the house red whatever that may be you have no place in a fine establishment more than anything however you must remember that one never spits out wine in a restaurant you would be surprised how many do <laughs> that's i'm hearing new things on the radio it's nice i am actually hearing new things on the radio that um i don't think i i've heard before uh during the demo version or anything like that um 
that's that's really great. I'm I'm really pleased about that. There's there's new radio bits and they're fun. I like it. I like it. Um, so this we're going to make a really nice big staff room here. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how I want it. I suppose. Um, I think it's going to be um, a lot like this for now. Um, again, we don't have a lot, do we, for um, stuff to go in the staff room. Um, so it is a challenge. So we've gone for size. Um, oh, we should. Windows do add a good amount of prestige. Um, so there is that privacy issue, but at the same time, you know, they're, they're quite good for the room. We should definitely get a bunch of um, uh, lockers in for the staff to uh, store their bits and bobs. Look, we'll have a whole locker area. Um, they do add prestige. Yeah, excellent. Um, so it's going pretty well. We would like... Nurse to general diagnosis. Cheesy gubbins. And uh, Burp. What we're also going to do is put in a briny brittle. Briny, uh, briny brittle um, reduces hunger, you see, but it also makes people quite thirsty. So we're going to have a fiddle with the prices, I think, on that in a moment. We would like a hand sanitizer. Um, do you know, we'll put that by the lockers there. Um, and, 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 what else? We definitely need a bin. If we've got these snack machines, we're definitely going to need um, a, a bin. There's there's no doubt about it. Do you know, we might put another sofa in here. Uh, we have the room, so why not? Um, let's get some plants. Plants. They'll be nice as well. And will really help the prestige. Won't they? Um... That's fantastic. Do you know, maybe a couple of more armchairs and we might be there. We just might be there. We'll pop an armchair um, there. Um, hmm, maybe just one. Yeah, here. There we go. Build that. And we uh, do this staff request. Excellent. We did it. We did it, everybody. What is all this? The oh, yes. Old Foundation's healthcare division is nothing but a load of hocus pocus hogwash, if you ask me. <laughs> it doesn't take a brain surgeon to see the only thing they're good at is brain washing. <laughs> Fantastic! There we are. So we've completed this uh, challenge. Fantastic! So we've got look plus twenty five percent happiness and some kudosh. And then here, look, a new illness has been discovered. Freudian lips, a tendency to pout excessively when they're faced uh, when faced with a camera. Fantastic. Um, so we've got more people coming in to the psychiatry offices. So it was probably probably a good thing, wasn't it, that um, we built a second one, really, in the grand scheme of things. Um, we're going to put this, I think, uh, here. Just uh, a small toilet. Oh, and I know that uh, some people have been struggling to get their golden toilet. Um, and so I've made a video on how you can go about it. Um, if you're having trouble, what, what's happened is a lot of people that signed up to Hospital Pass before the game came out, um, they don't have their golden toilet, but they can't re-sign in to Hospital Pass on uh, twopointhospital.com in order to unlock their toilet now. And that's all that needs to be done in order for you to get it back in your game. Um, so I have released a video. I'll put it in the description below and it tells you exactly how you can get your golden toilet. If for whatever reason um, the tips, uh, the tip or the way to do it in my video doesn't work, although it really should, but if it doesn't, in the description of that video um, is also a link to Sega's official, look, if you can't do this, contact us here and we'll just send you the DLC key to get it. Um, so whether you get it instantly from the instructions on my video or you manage to get a key a little bit later, the answer is definitively there. You'll 100% get it by following one of those steps. I can't afford to unlock it yet because I spent all my kudosh. Um, so we're going to use some normal toilets here. Lots of people have been asking as well, what is the difference 
what is the difference between um, the golden toilet and these toilets? One is the prestige. The golden toilet is three times more prestigious and the other is attractiveness. The regular toilet cubicle doesn't have any attractiveness. Golden toilet does produce attractiveness similar to that of a plant. Uh, I will demonstrate that to you uh, at, uh, at when I as soon as I can, as soon as I have it unlocked in the game, we uh, will have a look at that. I think I think that would be uh, really a really great thing to have a look at. Um, it'd be marvelous. Wouldn't it be marvelous? So, right, we're just uh, building another toilet over here for everybody to to use. I think we might Save pop that there. Blanket. Two Point Radio's roving reporter has been investigating hmm. the state of our local hospitals today. Oh yeah. I certainly hope she did not waste any time interviewing patients. I mean, what possible value would that have? Oh dear. <laughs> For goodness sake. <laughs> right. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Where should we put this? It gets in the way of the... So it's okay. It's a bit, it's a, it's a bit tricky. Hopefully that'll be okay. Hopefully it won't block anybody going through there. I guess, I guess we'll find out. There we are. There's another toilet. Um, right, let's go back through our mail. What have we got here? Potty mouth. When the patient opens their mouth, terrible things happen, caused by drinking water from a toilet sink or a toilet. So that's a pharmacy treatment. Fantastic. VIP. One of Roderick Cushion's uh, makeup crew is unwell and looking for treatment. He's the he's an actor, isn't he? A, a very famous actor in Two Point County. Will be rewarded if we treat the VI patient. Uh, should we have them sent here? Um, very important patient. Um, so the cure. Uh, diagnose and cure a patient. So we actually have to diagnose and cure this one. Okay. Uh, but the treatment room will be the pharmacy. Excellent. And we do really well just for this one. In fact, we'd be able to unlock the golden toilet if we did this. That might be worth doing. Um, and look, we've got staff challenge. Um, is that the same guy? Again, I don't know about you, but I find the relentless stream of death somewhat depressing. Do you think we could go a few months without any fatalities? Look, we'll give it a go. But I wouldn't hold your breath. Sally Fig Blanket's latest county roundup just went live. She doesn't say much about the hospital except that it exists. Hmm. It's good for people to know that, I suppose. We'll need to improve the hospital if we want people to add anything positive when mentioning to, uh, mentioning us. That's fine. It is quite skeletal at the moment, isn't it? There's nothing. There's no flourish to it at all. And mono brow, extreme hair growth caused by excessive consumption consumption of both highbrow and lowbrow entertainment the monobrow must be carefully removed and placed in a secure container to prevent it from escaping yes and that's what that these things are that run around the floor they are monobrows that have fallen off their faces and start running around the hospital and you have to to try and deal with that and they can hide under um items of furniture they don't go into rooms though um some people are worried that they might go into rooms and that they don't they do just stay in the corridors, so not 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 to worry about that. Um, they're not too problematic. They tend to gather in a fairly specific locations as well. So what we're going to do, I mentioned something about a little trick that we're going to do here. So Briny Brittle makes people thirsty. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into prices. We're going to reduce our prices globally so that our reputation starts to go up and uh, because we're undercutting the market um, across the board for our prices. But we're also, we want to do something specific here with Briny Brittle. So we're going to go on to Briny Brittle. At the moment, look, it's $20 for each one. We're actually going to undercut the market by 50% on this machine and sell them for 11 each. Because it makes people thirsty, I'm going to come to this Burps Drinks machine and put the prices up. A little bit high and we're going to see where people are quite happy oh dear what did they die on was that was that failed treatment on all subjects because it was so 
the, the drinks machine will be more expensive. We'll look out to see if people get annoyed by spending that amount on the drinks machines. But we'll see. They might be so desperate. Try not to die. And we're going to encourage people to buy more of these and it will encourage them to buy more drinks. <laughs> so sneaky. Um, right. And, um, do you know, we might do something a bit similar over here. Um, actually, what we'll do, we'll leave that bench there. And we'll put another, another briny brittle here. Another drinks machine. And then with these, we really do need bins. We do need bins about the place. Um, so I think I might put a bin here. Um, I think we might put a bin there. I think we might put a bin here. Then, for a bit of attractiveness, I think uh, we'll put uh, a plant here. Okay. Um, and maybe we could put a plant there. Should be alright, shouldn't it? We'll put a Put a plant here. Just helps, doesn't it? It just helps keeps things uh, about the place nice. I think maybe another one there. Excellent. And they're getting a little bit bored um, around the hospital. So what we're going to do, I think, is just put a couple of these down. This is all that we've got unlocked at the moment that can help with boredom. So we'll we'll put a couple of these um, about um, and. Uh, Hopefully that will just help with some boredom levels. Let's come over here. Um, what do we have? So we don't need to worry about stuff around the staff room. But the pharmacy is a little bit a little bit sparse. Let's get um let's where's do we have any food around here? So we do have a drinks machine over there. I think what we'll do is we'll put um I think a couple of bennies here and we'll get rid of this and we're going to put a briny snacks machine there like that and we've got this burp machine over here i think i'm going to get rid of that uh, oh and you see how it unleashed see sometimes under the items and you see that one ran straight under there get him there he is so sometimes they go under machines and stuff there we go and occasionally it's worth just having a clear out <laughs> there we go and then they'll sweep it up and get rid of it perfectly good perfectly good um, I think we'll put a plant here um, and we'll put a plant here excellent um, I feel like we should have um, some more of these so there we go it's on the outside of the toilet I think is a nice place isn't it should we also put one here? There we go. <laughs> right into the toilet. There we go. Um, just, you know, make the... Oh, dear. No, 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 no. No, no, no. There's somebody with a monobrow kicking about in here, isn't there? Nigel the new fitness centre in Lower Bullocks, the Steel Buns Gym. I spent a very pleasant afternoon in the sauna, but did not Steel care to smell buns. Down the corridor. Fantastic. In short, I would stick with the perspiration spa in Grockle Bay. He'll stick to the spa. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. So this is this is this is going all right, you know. This will help with people's boredom. Um we are supplying bins for the snacks machines. People shouldn't really want or be wanting for, for too much, right? Um, it, it should be okay. It should be okay. What we might do... I know I know you're using that right now. I'm sorry about that. But what we're just going to do, I think, is... Oh, dear. <laughs> Maintenance announcement. <gasps> bins will become full. Bins will become full. There we go. So that we can just move this bench, I think, to there. The Benny is now in a better place. Fantastic. What's this? Special report. <gasps> look at that. We did that really quickly. We didn't even see them come in. But look, they were diagnosed and cure. Fantastic. And now we can buy our golden toilet. Um, unfortunately, we failed the request. So we did kill some people. Damn it. Damn it. That's because we need training. We, d we definitely need training. So then, 
Let's do an example of the golden toilet for you. Shall we have a shall we have a look? Look, we could build quite a big bathroom here. So what we're going to do is build uh, we're not going to keep this. It's just it's just as an example. So here we are. We're going to put There we go. So attractiveness. You see, it's not really attractive. It's just it's clean, so it doesn't have an attractiveness thingamajiggy. Um however, the golden toilet. So if we now remove that one, unlock this, it's 2,000. Look, 2,000. Ah. And that's the difference. You know, this is just, um, this has no attractiveness level. These are just, um, well, they're not even particularly clean now. They're not so bad, but, you know, they're sort of getting, they're, they're getting a need. And when they're in good nick, they're brighter green. This one actually has an attractiveness about it. It makes the room much nicer. Uh, people like it. Um, that's all that it is. That's the only way that it's different. Other than the fact that, look, it's really shiny and gold and beautiful. Um, and it's got pink toilet roll. Um, you know, I mean, there's that. But yeah. That's the only way that it's different. It's it's not that it breaks down less or that it needs less fixing or that it stays cleaner for longer. Nothing like that. Nothing like that. In every other respect, it is exactly the same. It is exactly the same. Um, so there we are. I think at the moment I am pretty happy uh, with this hospital. Um, I know that we haven't got it to uh, two star rating or anything like that just yet. Although saying that, oh yeah, should we check out if we can spot the differences? I don't mind telling you it's a bit nippy in the booth today. It's, it's a bit the nippy in the booth. And the window is <laughs> stuck in an open position. Oh. I have no choice but to engage in vigorous exercise. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So we can see, look, a bit's been added on here. This is, I'm pretty sure this is uh, different. This has been added on, I think, now as well. Um, yeah, so you can see that that's just the first upgrade and we can already see differences in growth. And this is why some of these machines, as I said about the pharmacy machine, can be can look a little bit odd and far away from the wall this has had one upgrade you know and we've got little, sort of little attachments on here but they just keep growing with their upgrades um which is really which is a really fantastic detail i love it it's it's really really nice seeing the machines slowly get um upgraded is just great oh she was doing something with a with a wand oh my god a little animation with wand uh, with a wand Oh, shall we see our uh, our awards then? And then I think we'll call it for this episode. And next episode, we'll move on to flottering and see about getting some training done. That would be smashing. Shall we open them all in one go? What do we have? Oh my goodness, look at all these awards. We've got Doctor of the Year, Hazel Cups. It's <laughs> a fantastic name. Um, we won Nurse of the Year, Clarabelle Tingle. Um, assistant of the Year. We got Assistant of the Year. That's fantastic. Kevin Rubbish. Oh, it's a bit of an unfortunate surname, isn't it? <laughs> but he could probably do with a pay rise. Um, look, we're Employer of the Year. Well, that's because I think we're quite generous with our with our salary. Everyone's not just our salary, but everyone's quite happy. We've got nice staff rooms and there's facilities about the place. I think that's how we're winning that. Most prestigious hospital awarded to the hospital with the nicest working environment. Oh, yes. Excellent. And the Patient Choice Award, a special honour awarded by the patients themselves. They tend to vote based on treatment success and reputation. And of course, we are undercutting the competition with our low, low prices. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button. As long as you are here, why not check out one of my delectable videos available? Feel free to come stalk me on social media and be sure to share this video with friends so even more may watch my shizwa. See you next time, peeps.